Hey, what's up? My name is Landy Martin. I'm a professional network marketer. I love helping you build big teams and create cultures that you're never ever going to want to leave. Today, I'm going to talk about what to do when you lose all motivation to continue to work and be in your business. Losing motivation while building your business is a actually a very common challenge that many entrepreneurs face. Whether you're starting a business, an ice cream store, network marketing, doesn't matter. The important thing is to recognize it is a natural part of the entrepreneurial journey. And we are on a journey here, guys. We're not just trying to get to a destination. There are several strategies that can help with this. Number one, we wanna reflect on our why. Why did we get started in the first place? Um, you know, remember the reasons, you know, connect with that initial passion that you had when you started and your original motivation. Just get back in touch with it and remind yourself why you got started. Number two, break down your goals. You know, sometimes we have big, big goals and it becomes overwhelming and it becomes daunting. It's like, I'm never gonna be able to hit that. So let's break it down. You know, instead of going for a team of 5,000, let's set a goal for a team of 800, right? Say you have a team of 700, let's set the goal for 800 by the end of the month. So achieving these smaller milestones are gonna give you a sense of accomplishment. It's gonna help you regain that motivation that you've kind of lost. So number three, you wanna celebrate your achievements. You wanna make sure that you are giving yourself rewards. You know, take time to celebrate your achievements, no matter how small they are. Acknowledge your progress and your successes. Uh, boost your motivation by doing this. Um, I host a power hour every day, and every day I have everybody write down one sentence, one congratulatory sentence of something they did well that week. It boosts morale, it allows you to build your confidence because every time you pat yourself on the back, you're boosting that confidence. Number four, you wanna connect with your vision. Many times, I've been in network marketing for five years. Um, I have made a lot of money and then I've not made a lot of money. You know, I've been at both ends of the spectrum and you know, anytime I've really struggled, I have lost sight of my vision. So number four is connecting with your vision. You know, visualize the future success of your business and imagine the positive impact that you're gonna have on your life as well as the lives that you would like to impact. You know, connect with your long-term goal, your long-term vision, and you know, that's gonna give you renewed motivation. Number five, we wanna reassess and potentially pivot. If you're feeling stuck, you know, consider reassessing your business strategy. You know, maybe even look at the vehicle you're in. You know, we can have all the right uh, talents and tools and everything, and if you're in the, not the right vehicle, sometimes you might need to pivot. Um, make a readjustment in areas that you need to, get a fresh perspective and just rekindle that original motivation that you had. Number six, you wanna seek support. Talk to your mentors, talk to your upline, talk to other entrepreneurs. I promise you they've been through the same challenges that you are now facing. And you know, share your feelings with them, seek advice, listen, be coachable, take it in, right? I mean, we all, so much of this is just staying coachable. And number seven, take a break. Take a break, <laughs> get off social media, go on vacation, turn your phone off. Sometimes we really need a break and it can do wonders. It will totally re-excite you, reignite you, redo everything to where you're like, let's go. I'm ready to really work this thing now. Um, you know, just stepping away for a day or a weekend to recharge can do wonders. So use this time to engage in activities you enjoy. Uh, you know, reading, relaxation, walking, go to the spa, go on a little trip with your hubby or your spouse, use this time and just recharge and spend some time in silence because that puts you back in touch with who you really are. And, you know, sometimes we, you know, when there's all the chaos going on, we're not going to hear that little message that we need to hear sometimes. Um, so number eight is going to be to set new challenges. Uh, you know, boredom and lack of motivation. I mean, I can attest to this. Even when I was making $10,000 a month, I was like, I'm kind of bored. I went into management mode. So consider setting new goals to reach and continue to challenge yourself because if you're not continuing to grow and challenge yourself, you know, you're really just eventually going to squander all the progress and money that you've made so far. So, um, you know, do this to stimulate your interests. Set new goals. Uh, number nine, learn and grow. I talk about this on everything I do. Personal development is so key to your success. So attend workshops, conferences, events, courses, 
But events are fun, right? You meet up with other people, you have that camaraderie, uh, you get to have, you know, gain fresh perspectives, like from their point of view, you have continuous learning. Um, this can reinvigorate you, okay, and your entrepreneurial spirit and provide you with new tools for success. So that's number nine. Number 10, focus on self-care again, guys. Take a hot bath at night, put some essential oils in your Epsom salts. I love to do that. I love lavender and peppermint. And on that note, uh, gosh, I came across an incredible deal on, I think it's six essential oils you get for 49. Now, without the membership, I think it's 69, but still killer essential oils. They're like, um, they have certified analysis with them, like our certificate of analysis, clean, pure therapeutic oils. So if you're interested in that, actually, I'll link them below because um, I'm loving these oils. They're so good. There's an immunity blend, frankincense, lavender, peppermint, tea tree, and I think lemon. But yes, yes. Anyway, focus on self-care. Essential oils is a big part of that for me. Number 11 is delegate and collaborate, right? If you're feeling overwhelmed, consider delegating. You know, don't carry so much of the load. You know, many times as a leader, we do a lot. We pick up the slap for upline, downline, sideline, like we're doing it all. You know, cut yourself a break. If you can't host everything and do everything, it's okay. Delegate some tasks. Ask somebody in your downline. Because the reality is at the end of the day, you get paid what value you provide. And if you're not hosting calls and you're not giving value back to your team, you know, that might be why you're not making the money that you want to make. Okay, so think about that. And also share responsibilities that can lighten your load and bring you brighter ideas. Number 12, my last tip is reevaluate your business model. Assess that if your current business model is really aligning with your goals and values, you know, if needed, you might need to make adjustments to just ensure that your business reflects your passion and your purpose. Remember, it's normal to experience downs when you're an entrepreneur and ups, they both come, okay? You're gonna go up and down, just the way it is. Implement these strategies, stay adaptable, stay adaptable, stay coachable. You're gonna overcome the loss of your motivation and you're gonna continue to build your business, okay? Hang in there, don't quit. If you like these tips, watch one of my other videos, give me a little subscribe and I will see you on the other side. This is Landy.